What's up? Hey guys, it's Ivan. In this video, I want to show you how you can make a blog from your ClickFunnels account, right? So this is a question I've encountered several times and something I've actually wanted to do myself uh, a while ago, and that is just make my own blog on ClickFunnels. Um, now, one thing to keep in mind is, so I will show you how we can make a blog, but one thing I do have to uh, tell you before that is that ClickFunnels is really made for making funnels, right? So it's ClickFunnels, not ClickBlog, right? Um, and making blogs may get a bit tedious because you may need to do, right, depending on your layout, and I'll get into that, you may need to do a separate page step for every different blog you would want to do. So let me show you what you can do and then you can play around with it as you want, all right? So let's let's start off by just making a new funnel. Um, so let's say collect emails. Uh, we can go with that one. And let's say my blog. And let's say unbooked. Actually, I'll just leave that blank. Let's build funnel. So. ClickFunnels actually has blog templates available for you already when you go to this miscellaneous section. So when you go here, there's a bunch of different pages uh, that are there actually. So here, for example, here's an about me page you can use on your very own blog. Um, you know, here's a resume page, here's a 404 error. So if there's an error, um, you know, for some reason your site's not working, you could redirect them to this page that looks just like that, right? It's a little custom built uh, error 404 page. Uh, there's a bunch of different pages, uh, but here is the blog. So here you have a traditional blog page. Here you have a blog page. Uh, let's see, traditional about page. So here, right, you can use all these pages in conjunction with your blog. So when you make a blog, when you create this new step, on that new step, you would select this template. And then on the next step, you would select you know, the about us template, right? So let's pick our blog template. So here's another blog, uh, blog template here. Here's a three column blog. So let's go with the first one we found, which was maybe this one. So let's just preview it real quick. Yeah, there you go, right? So, and then, and then there he's got this Facebook, um, he's got this Facebook uh, plugin, which we talked about in one of the previous videos. I'll put the link up above how we can do that too. But here's basically like, like that looks pretty professional, right? And this can all be done within ClickFunnels. So uh, let's go to, let's, let's pick, I'm trying to find something pretty cool. Well, let's just go with this one, right? And let's see what it looks like. Let's go to edit page. So that looks pretty good, right? That's got really everything we need to, and all of this is using click funnels to, to make with no code, as you can see, right? If we go to tracking code, nothing here either. So this is something you can easily do yourself. So this, for example, element, um, this element is this one. It should be, let's see, it would be image and image feature right there, right? So as you can see here, there's the little image and there is the, the information about it, right? And I believe if you go to advanced, right, so then you can change it, right, and that's how you would do that, right? So if you want to add another one, like if there's several authors, maybe you could do that. Basically, everything here is available to you with no code requirement, nothing of the like. And then you would just change it, right? So the one thing is for the date, uh, you can't really say something like made two hours ago because then that's going to stay there forever, right? It's going to be, you know, blog post published two hours ago forever unless you use some code. Um, uh, right, there's some JavaScript code you can do so that it automatically changes the date for you. Uh, but that's some higher level programming that you can't do just by clicking a button here in ClickFunnels, right? But here's basically how you do it. So here you have everything, right? Uh, subscribe to the mailing list. So they would submit the page. They would be added to your mailing list. The next page after this, maybe you'd make a thank you page saying, hey, uh, thanks for subscribing, right? Return back to my blog. So here you have all this call now for free trial, home about us. Here you have all the options and the navigation options. So, uh, you know, there's a bunch of ways to do navigation bar. I discussed that in my previous videos. Again, I'll put the links up above how you can do navigation bars in different ways. Uh, here's the picture of uh, the, the log, logo, right? You, you, you would put your logo there. Um, basically, that, that's what it would look like, and that's pretty good. So, uh, and then here's additional links, right? So if you want to add additional resources here, what you would then do is maybe you can link it either to the same page. So if you want to add more, you would maybe just copy this. So maybe you would clone it and maybe you would add a separate article here and maybe you would right, remove that. You would delete something here. Uh, maybe you would delete this again because you don't want it there again. 
right? And maybe you would put that up like once every three articles or something like that, right? Uh, but then here you would have a different post, right? And then you would maybe uh, clone it again and then you would have a different post, right? And then at the bottom or, or at the top here, um, let's see, at the bottom, yeah, right there, you can, you can have, right, like different links. And what you can do is you can click scroll and then you would put in the name of the section you want to scroll to. So maybe section one, right, what you would do. So we put that, that's for link edit. And then if we name this section one, for instance, see, it's got to be the, with the green. So over here, it's with the green. So let's go here and let's name this section one. We'll update it. Okay, so now if I click on it, right, so then, I guess we didn't save it. Hold up one second. Uh, block page. All right. So now if we scroll down, uh, here you'll see the other posts, right? If you want to keep keep adding more posts like that, you don't need to have this Facebook plugin either. Uh, and then just go to link edit, and it's going to take me back, right? It's going to scroll us back up again. Um, so that's one way of doing it. You can add a bunch of different posts here, and what you can do is. You can, uh, over here, you can maybe make a uh, heading. So for example, you know, this page is about this, 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 this page is about click funnels. This page is about blogging. This page is about, um, you know, or, or this blog post section, I mean, is about this, 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 et cetera, et cetera. You would put that there. Then what you could do is you could add new step or, you know, in this case, we'll just use this, uh, this page here. And we'll go back to miscellaneous and we will use the exact same page template we used. So we'll select template here. And then we keep going and we keep doing this. And then what we can do is we can rename it, right? So if we go to publishing, we can just rename the, the pathing here. So in this case, the pathing is that. For this one, the pathing is this. And we could just rename it like blog, right? Something like, well, I can't do it here, but maybe something like blog dash. Uh, about click funnels blog dash about um, uh, whatever whatever other blog topics you're writing about right monkeys right and then what you could do is add step and say this about us right An author about us and then what you would do is you would create a funnel step and then over here again when we go to miscellaneous right take take the about me template uh, you don't need to you can just use the previous template and just kind of change things around and then this is what it would look like right so that looks pretty good that looks pretty professional it's got everything there uh that actually looks pretty good right so maybe even better than some sites that are specialized in blogging maybe like wordpress uh but given that this isn't the simplest way like in wordpress you can just go on the site click on write post and it'll automatically publish the post it'll do everything for you it'll make it nice and convenient here you will need to utilize these features here right uh, and then what you would do is you would maybe take this URL, right? And if you're making a custom domain, um, you would just go to custom domains and you would add your domain there and then just change this. So it's, you know, instead of saying result famous, it says your domain. Then what you would do here, for example, on your opt-in page, you would go to edit page. You would go to about us and you would put in that URL here. There you go, right? So now if I click on save. I preview, I go to about us. Oops, let's see, it's not working yet. Okay, so that was my mistake. I have actually, um, I've actually there, there was just a little space at the end there and I just deleted the space. Uh, so when I preview this now and you go to About Us, as you can see, it just takes you there, right? So that works. So, so that's what you would do is you would just add a series of pages. You would just duplicate a bunch of these. Um, so if you want to clone it, you would just clone funnel step and then you would need to... Uh, add to funnel, right? And then it's going to show up and then you would rename it as you want to. So maybe blog, you know, about this blog, about online marketing, blog about um, blogging, blog about YouTube, et cetera, et cetera, right? That's what you would do here. So that's basically it. That's how you would create a blog. And then maybe like this would be your main blog page and then you would build it from there, right? Uh, so if you guys have any specific questions, let me know down below. I'll try to help out as much as uh, I can, but I think I pretty much covered really everything you need to know about how to create a blog on ClickFunnels. Uh, again, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. We cover a lot of different online marketing tools on this channel, how-tos, tips, tricks, reviews, etc., etc. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.